Hello and welcome back friends. Welcome back to another video tutorial from MMS Max Medicine Simple. And today in this video we are going to talk about the tricks and mnemonics to remember all 12 separate cranial nerves, right? And we will also talk about the type of those nerves, whether they are sensory, motor or both. So with this important note, let's start it. So friends with the help of these two mnemonics, you can easily remember the names and types of all 12 cranial nerves. Now see how. So this is a mnemonic 1 and this is a mnemonic 2. So mnemonic 1 goes like this. One of our Telugu teacher asked for a very good vada and halwa. The mnemonic is one of our Telugu teacher asked for very good vada and halwa. So this is the mnemonic. And in this mnemonic, first letter of each word correspond to first letter of each cranial nerve. Now see how. The first one in this mnemonic correspond to olfactory nerve that is our cranial nerve CN1. The second O correspond to optic nerve that is our CN2. The third O stands for oculomotor nerve that is CN3. The first T stands for trochlear nerve that is our CN4. Right? The second T stands for trigeminal nerve that is our CN5. A stands for abducens now, that is our CN6. F stands for facial now, that is our CN7. V stands for vestibulocochlear now, that is our CN8, cranial now 8. This G stands for glossopharyngeal now, that is our CN9. V stands for vagus now, that is our CN10. This A stands for accessory now, spinal accessory now, that is our CN11. And lastly, this H stands, this halva stands for hypoglossal nerve, that is our cranial nerve 12. So with the help of this mnemonic, one of our Telugu teacher asked for very good vada and halva, we can remember the names of all 12 cranial nerves in one sequence right from cranial nerve 1 to cranial nerve 12. Now we will talk about the second mnemonic. With the help of the second mnemonic, this is our mnemonic. It's very easy to remember the types of nerve, whether the nerve is sensory, motor or both. So see, the mnemonic goes like this. Some say merry money. Some say merry money, but my brother says big brains matters more. So some says merry money, but my big brother, my brother says big brains matter more. So this is the mnemonic. Again, the first letter of each word correspond to the type of nerve. So, olfactory nerve is sensory, optic nerve is again sensory, oculomotor is M, M means motor, trochlear is motor, a trigeminal B, B means both. So, it's both sensory and motor. Again, abducens, the cranial nerve 6 is M, motor. A facial nerve is both sensory and motor. Vestibulocochlear now, cranial now 8 is sensory. Our glossopharyngeal is both sensory and motor. Our vagus is again both sensory and motor. And lastly, our accessory now is motor and our hypoglossal now is also motor. So with the help of these two, two mnemonics, you can remember the names and type of that now. Now with this important note, let's see. The summary of cranial nerves on the basis of their type. So the first one is sensory cranial nerve. So cranial nerve 1, 2 and 8. These are the three sensory cranial nerves. Second one is motor cranial nerve. So cranial nerve 3, 4, 6, 11 and 12. These are the five motor cranial nerves. And lastly mixed cranial nerve. So cranial nerve 5, 7, 9 and 10. These are the four mixed cranial nerves. So till the time we have seen that how to remember the names and types of cranial nerves and now we will talk about the functions. How to remember the functions of all 12 cranial nerves with the help of this drawing which looks like your face. So this is the best way to remember the functions of all 12 cranial nerves. Now see how. What you need to do, first you draw this, this is one. So you draw one. So this is what, this corresponds to your nose, right? So this is your cranial nerve one, that is your olfactory nerve which is on purely sensory now and gives the sense of smell, right? Now you draw this, these two eyes. These are the two eyes of one person, right? So you draw these eyes and then you write two, four and six inside that. And you also draw this 
3. So this is your oculometer now. It looks like M on your eyebrows. So now see. So this 2 is your optic now, which is on purely sensory now and responsible for vision. This 4 is your trochlear now, one motor now and responsible for eye movements. And this 6 is your abducens now, again one purely motor now and responsible for eye movement. Now we will talk about this 3, this M. So this is your oculomotor now, right? M means M. So M stands for M that is motor now. So this is responsible for the motor movement of your eye. So the functions are eye movement, eyelid opening, pupillary constriction and lens accommodation. Now, now we will talk about the cranial nerve 5 that is your trigeminal now. So we will draw 5 here covering your whole face and also cutting your tongue. This is your tongue. So cutting your tongue in two halves. Now see here. This cranial nerve 5, the trigeminal nerve, this is one mixed type of cranial nerve, right? Both sensory and motor. So when we talk about the sensory functions, it's very important for the facial sensation and also give the somato sensation to anterior two third of tongue. Now when we talk about the motor functions, it's important to open and close the jaw. Now after trigeminal now, we will talk about facial now. So this is your facial now on both the sides, right? Looks like seven. So again, this is one sensory and motor now. So mixed type of cranial now, when we talk about the sensory functions, it gives the sense of taste to anterior two third of tongue. And when we talk about the motor functions, it's responsible for facial expressions, lacrimation and salivation. Now, now very important, see here. Now we will talk about the cranial now 8 that is your vestibular cochlea now. So we will draw like this. 8. Vestibular cochlea now. So it looks like your beautiful ears, right? So this is one sensory type of cranial now. When we talk about the functions, it's responsible for hearing and balance. Very important. Now see here. Now we will draw this tongue, right? And we will write 9, 10 and 12. So this is your cranial now 9, the glossopharyngeal now, which is one sensory and motor type cranial now. When we talk about the sensory functions, it gives the somato sensation and also test to posterior one third of tongue, right? When we talk about the motor functions, it's responsible for the swallowing. Now see, now we will talk about this cranial now 10, the vagus now. So again, this is one mixed type of cranial now, right? Both sensory and motor. So when we talk about the sensory functions, it gives the sense of taste to epiglottis, not tongue. Okay. It gives the sense of taste to epiglottis. When we talk about the motor function or vagus now, it's responsible for swallowing, talking and coughing. Now see here, this is our cranial now 12 and we draw it here on the tip of tongue. So this is hypoglossal now which is on purely motor now and responsible for the tongue movement. That's why we draw it here on the tip of tongue. Now, lastly, we will talk about here. See, these are, it looks like 11, right? So this is your cranial now 11, also called spinal accessory now. So this is on purely motor now. And when we talk about the functions, it's responsible for shoulder shrugging and head turning, right? So with the help of this drawing, which looks like your face, it's very easy to remember the functions of all 12 cranial nerves for a longer duration. So now we will talk about the functions of cranial nerves. So the first one is cranial nerve 1, the olfactory nerve, which is on purely sensory nerve and responsible for the sense of smell. That's why we draw it here like one person's nose. Cranial nerve 2, the optic nerve, which is again one purely sensory cranial nerve and responsible for vision. That's why we draw it here like one person's eyes. Now, cranial now 3, the oculomotor now, right? Which is responsible for the motor activity of eye, oculomotor. Also see here, cranial now 3 on eyebrows like M. So oculomotor, M for movement, right? Now, this is one purely motor cranial now and responsible for eye movements, eyelid opening, pupillary constriction, and lens accommodation. So just keep in mind that there are other cranial nerves are also which are responsible for the eye movements. So what are those cranial nerves? Let's see to them. 
So the next nerve that we are going to talk about is cranial nerve for the trochlear nerve, which is a purely motor nerve and responsible for eye movement. Now the next one is cranial nerve six, the abducens nerve. Again, one very important and purely motor nerve and responsible for eye movement. So we can see here that along with cranial nerve three, also cranial nerve four and six, right? The trochlear and abducens are responsible for the eye movements. Now. Now we will talk about cranial nerve 5, the trigeminal nerve, which is one mixed type of cranial nerve, right? Both sensory and motor. Now see, this is our trigeminal nerve, the cranial nerve 5. Now this is from here to here. So we draw it on the place of our face and also it cutting our tongue somewhere. Now see, the sensory functions of trigeminal nerve are facial sensation and somato sensation to anterior two third of tongue. That's why it cutting our tongue. Now. The motor functions are to open and close the jaw. So somewhere it innervates the muscles of masticating like so masticating muscles. That's why it open and close the jaw. So now let's talk about the cranial nerve seven. That is our facial nerve. You can see here on both the sides. This is our facial nerve. So this is one mixed type of cranial nerve, both sensory and motor. When we talk about the sensory functions, it gives the sense of taste to anterior two third of tongue. When we talk about the motor functions, it's very important for the facial expressions, lacrimation and salivation. So these are the important functions of facial nerve. Now, now we will talk about cranial nerve 9, that is our glossopharyngeal nerve. Again, one mixed type of cranial nerve, both sensory and motor. You can see here, this is here. So when we talk about the sensory functions, right, it's responsible for the somato sensation and test to posterior one third of tongue. Now, when you talk about the motor functions, it's very important for the swallowing. So these are the important functions of glossopharyngeal nerve. So now we will talk about the cranial nerve 10, that is our vagus nerve, see here on the tongue. So this is one mixed type of cranial nerve, right? One sensory and motor. So when we talk about the sensory functions, it gives the sense of taste to epiglottis, very important. Not to tongue, but it gives the sense of taste to epiglottis. This is the sensory function of vagus nerve. Now, when we talk about the motor functions, it's responsible for the swallowing, talking and coughing, right? These are the important motor functions of vagus nerve. Now we will talk about cranial nerve 12, that is our hypoglossal nerve. See here on the tip of tongue. So this is a purely motor cranial nerve and responsible for movement of tongue. That's why we draw it here on the tip of tongue. So this is responsible for the tongue movement. So now we will talk about the cranial nerve 8, that is our vestibular cochlear nerve. See here on the sides, this is our vestibular cochlear nerve, looks like our ears, right? So this is one purely sensory cranial nerve. And when we talk about the functions, then it's responsible for hearing and balance, very important. And lastly, we will talk about the cranial nerve 11, that is our spinal accessory nerve. See here, this is our cranial nerve 11. So we draw it like 11, okay? So this is spinal accessory now, again one purely motor cranial now. And when you talk about the functions, then it's responsible for shoulder shrugging and head turning. So these are the important functions of vestibular cochlear now and spinal accessory nerves. So this is all about the names, types and functions of all 12 cranial nerves, right? So thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe the channel and also give your important feedback in the comment section. So stay safe, study a lot. Thank you so much guys.